2nd August 2015 A 12-year-old dog with carnassial tooth abscess A carnassial tooth abscess is an infection of the root of the 4th premolar tooth. The bacteria multiplies in the root and pus is produced. Be kind to Pets Veterinary Educational Video sponsored by Topio Vets. What are the causes of carnassial tooth abscess? The root, the root of the of the premolar four become infected and then the abscess come up from here. So they are discharged here. This wound will never close because unless you remove the tooth, uh, the tooth is inside. Uh, and uh, the bacteria keeps coming out from here. This I don't have. So from outside it looks like only the, the skin problem actually is inside. The root. And it's a two abscess of, of my life, abscess number 17. Uh. This one is uh, very common in old dogs. Uh. So when, when they don't do dental scaling, they don't check the teeth out. See, almost similar, there's a wound here. And see, there's a wound there. Below the eye. Uh, it's a wound. And a lot of pus come out. There. Yeah. So actually, the problem is the tooth. This tooth. This is called like the carnassial tooth. This big tooth huh? inside infected. The, the root is infected. But it won't be cured unless you do the extract this tooth out. Huh? The dental huh? then this tooth. The rotten teeth are not there. You can see the roots here. Huh? This is the roots. Huh? Carnassial tooth, the roots. This is the monstrous one. This is the mark one. Huh? where the roots are infected and in fact they become uh, smaller really because they are rotting, they rotted. Uh. Normally the roots are quite fat on the normal roots. So, it, so we have to pull this out so that uh, to remove all the infection. Okay, now you can see very clearly the, the, the hole there after cleaning up here. Yeah. It's really quite big. The dog has broken up already. Now the, the tooth has been taken out the condenser tooth. So you can see no more condenser tooth. Eh? No more. So the wound should heal. Uh, the wound should heal and it should not feel any more pain. Yeah. So you can see the hole is very big because the abscess has been left for a long, long time for many months. We see that this dog has recovered fully from anesthetic. Again? Uh, again, again. No more. No more. And uh, you can see the other side. There isn't any uh, wound below the eye. On the left eye, but on the right eye, you can see this wound. Uh, this wound is really big. But now it's healing up, it's clotting up. Let's put the dog on the table. Of course, normally I pick up the e-collar. Then apply the antiseptic chlorhexidine cream uh, solution. This antiseptic. Now just give the dog a scolding first. No more by now, you okay, say yeah. So you put, put this uh, under the bone to clear away the blood clots. <laughs> yeah. So that's the way. Uh, the dog again. Then clean water. Clean water and then just wipe, wipe one more time. Then after that, then we will give antibiotics. Now antibiotics and multivitamin twice a day. So this one I give three ml. So I will start. I start with one ml first because three will be too much. Uh. Give one first. Then for three times of one ml, three times. You don't have to clean the food because you'll be very greedy. Hey, can we the food lah? Uh, it's very okay, greedy, right? Oh, yeah. So it's really so important they be very hungry and this is the food hot. Okay. It's the antibiotics. Okay. And we don't finish probably seven days. This one is the multivitamin. 
and also the same thing and then finish off and uh, and every day clean the wood if possible three times a day to remove all the blood clots in the past and after that uh, I will estimate 14 days from now it should be very uh, clean and then the wound is covered the whole cover Owners should send their dogs for a yearly teeth checkup, especially dogs over 3 years old. Canisha tooth abscess can cause the following pain in the tooth, bacterial infection, low appetite, bad smells in the mouth, itchiness, and weight loss. Follow up 14 days later, the wound of the dog has closed and the owner is very happy. For more veterinary educational videos, you can visit www.topayovets.com slash videos.htm